I believe it is impossible to be sure of anything. The intelligent ruler makes the law select man and makes no arbitrary appointment himself. He makes the law measure merits and makes no arbitrary judgment himself. A wise ruler, when he makes his laws, is bound to find himself in conflict with the world. If a ruler can get rid of private crookedness and promote the public law, his people will become secure, and his state will become well-ordered. A filial son to his father can be a traitorous subject to his ruler. The way is the beginning of the ten thousand things and the guiding thread of truth and falsity. The severe household has no fierce slaves, while it is the affectionate mother who is the prodigal son. The intelligent ruler does not value people who are of themselves good without rewards and punishments. Why is that? The laws of the state cannot be neglected, and it is not one man who is being ruled. Within the frontiers of a state, there are no more than ten people who do good of themselves, whereas if one makes it so that the people can do no wrong, the entire state can be kept peaceful. The severe household has no fierce slaves but it is the affectionate mother. If a ruler of men wants to put an end to vice, he must examine the correspondence between form and name and look to see how what is said differs from what is done. A ruler makes use of the majority and neglects the minority, and so he does not devote himself to virtue but to law. Superior and inferior wage 100 battles a day. A wise man, when he writes a book, sets forth his arguments fully and clearly. An enlightened ruler, when he makes his laws, sees to it that every contingency is provided for in detail. The way of an enlightened ruler is to make it so that no minister may make a proposal and then fail to match it with actions and results. Those who serve as ministers can be compared to hands, reaching up, they take care of the head, reaching down, they take care of the feet. He who is vain and delights in his own ability is deceived by his inferiors. When he likes to bring forth arguments and kindliness, his inferiors take advantage of his abilities. If ministers forget their ruler and establish relationships with foreign powers in order to advance the interests of their confederates, there will be scant reason for subordinates to obey their superiors.